The adaptive clearing technology in HSM Works and HSM Express vastly decreases roughing times over any other legacy or high speed roughing strategy on the market today. But with that said, many machine operators don't like to see their tool retract when repositioning between cutting moves. So in this video we're going to discuss how we can keep the tool down. As you can see, I have already programmed a part using 2D adaptive clearing. And these same parameters apply to 3D adaptive clearing. We can see with the default operation selected, some of the cutting moves have retracted fully when repositioning, while other cutting moves stayed down. Is this by coincidence? Of course not. So let's take a look at what's controlling these various moves. I'm going to right click my adaptive clearing strategy and select edit. The linking tab is where we control any linking movement between various cutting moves. So naturally this is where we're going to find the parameters that control the repositioning movements during an adaptive clearing cut. At the top of the linking tab we'll find a parameter set as the stay down distance. This is the maximum distance the tool can stay down before a rapid movement is used to retract fully and reposition the tool. So any of those movements that were less than two and a half inches used a stay down move while moves that were greater than two and a half inches did a rapid retract and reposition. So the question may be asked is this number arbitrary? Like any other parameter in HSM works, this number is absolutely not arbitrary. So if we'd like to see how that number is calculated, let's right click the box and select Edit Expression. Here we can see that the 2.5 inches is actually derived from a formula that multiplies the tool diameter times 5. So we could create our own company standards to increase the formula based on the tool diameter, or if I just click OK, I can completely override that 2.5 inches to say 8 inches. As a quick side note, had I changed the formula and I wanted to set that as my default, or even this static number of 8 inches as my default, I can simply right click and make it the default. In the same manner, we can reset to the built in defaults. So, this is a nice little tip that applies to any value that we're entering in HSM Works, not just the stay down distance. The next value that controls the stay down distance is actually what's called a lift height. So, when we're staying down, we may still want to lift the tool slightly above the cut surface of our part. To make this more visible, I'm going to set the lift height to 0.1 inches. The final parameter for our stay down moves is the no engagement feed rate. So because we're not fully retracting and rapiding to the next position, we don't want to do a rapid movement while down inside of that pocket. Instead we're going to do a high feed rate move. So here we can define what the feed rate is when we're making that movement. Now with that said, let's click OK and recalculate the toolpath. Now we can see all of our rapid movements have stayed down with the exception of any of the rapid movements that would violate our model by staying down. Also, if I look at the front of the part, we can see the lift height is in effect, so even though the tool is staying down, it's still lifting above the bottom floor of the model. Well, with that said, I hope it was a help in understanding the stay down parameters within HSM Works and at the same time you picked up a little tidbit of information on how you can leverage expressions within HSM Works. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to the NextGen YouTube channel so you can continue to get updates as we produce additional content.